Hello, mate. Oh, I did remember to turn my mic back on. Someone didn't. <laughs> turn your mic on. <laughs> You're still muted. <laughs> Is that hey! a bit yeah, well done. It's that stupid thing that says mute mic. I didn't even, I didn't even touch that. Oh, I must have when I was uh, fanning about. Anyway, we're, we're here. We're here. That wasn't the intro <laughs> I was expecting. I was expecting the uh, uh, bomb jack music. So it threw me. <laughs> you know what? I was I was hastily looking. I'm convinced when we did one of these the last time, did I not have a a live stream with our kid perfect thing tagged on? I'm sure I did. Uh, you might have done, but I wasn't live with you on that one. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Does anyone else remember that? I'm sure I did. I was just laughing at Ox. Feed the world. Let 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 they know it's retro time. <laughs> it's Sunday. I bloody hope it isn't a Sunday. Anyway, how are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Now, perhaps I should have put my lights on, saying I bought the festive background, but. <laughs> I was just going to say, yeah, you've got your art, you have very, that looks like a nice tree, I have to tell you, in the kind of Christmas spirit, was that last weekend it went up, was it? Yes, mate, yep, did it all last weekend. Apparently I'm putting mine up this weekend, I think, according to my daughter anyway, so. You do as you're told, fella. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, <laughs> time is marching on, uh, yeah, it's a live, it's an Arcade Perfect live, and we're going to look at Centipede. Now, my compatriot is very kindly, uh pull together a list of official ports. Is that about the, the size of it, would you say? From what I could find out using various Wikipedia-type and arcade sites, this is 
Well, the list I gave you is now alphabetical order, so if you want to mix them up, that's up to you. But it's superb. Well, I've not got the list there. Have you not got the list to hand? Well, yeah. First of all, you want to play the arcade one. Oh, that's very, very true. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just add this just now. So we're going to uh, share a screen like so. Hi, right, so anyway, listen. Good evening, everybody. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, I just thought I'll put a video. I've actually got I've actually stockpiled three videos, which is good for me. Normally. I have nothing in reserve and I can have to can make one, but I thought it's always a Thursday night's the beginning of the weekend, let's be honest. It is for me. I'm not back at work till Tuesday, and then I think I'm off until the fourth of January. Well, hell, you've, only, you've hardly been at work these last couple of years, have you? <laughs> and I've been paid for it all. So <laughs> Thanks, I, actually, Boris. <laughs> I actually met my I met one of my neighbours and he was telling me that he's been furloughed. But they, they split up in two weeks' time. The place is going to close his down for two weeks. Uh, and then the boss take came in and told him, uh, good news and bad news. The bad news is you're furloughed, and the good news is you're all in, uh, you're all in full pay. So I went and enjoy the holidays. I'm like, bastard. Yeah, that's pretty much what my boss has done. <laughs> not bad. I, I've got, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd rather not be... Well, no, nah, I, would, I would like to be furloughed in full pay. Who, who, would, who <laughs> wouldn't want to go, <laughs> sit in the house? It means I could get all my... I could get... Videos made, that would be wonderful. Well, you'd think that, wouldn't you? I still struggle. I do one every two weeks, mate, and I still struggle to get it out. <laughs> right, anyway, we can we can talk and play. So, yeah, it's, it's centipede, I think it is. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, we're going to try and get through all the home ports, the official ports, and then if we've got any time left, we'll, uh, we'll play a few of the dodgy ones. Uh, I mean, I think, suffice to say, I think centipede was one of these games that was just prolific back in the sort of There are one or two. <laughs> yeah, at least a couple anyway. So, right, anyway. Now, interestingly, I believe Centipede was actually written by a bird. That's quite an uncommon thing. I think that and was there some other? Was it Crystal Castles, I think it was? Written by some bird. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I thought it was me that come from London. <laughs> <laughs> if Catherine's watching tonight, sorry, Catherine. Yeah, it was written by a, I was going to say a young lady. It might have been an old person. I don't know. But it was written, written by... Uh, Some bird, uh, as you say. Yeah, a girl. We will call her a girl, yeah. So anyway, let's go. Centipede Revision 3. See if my joystick's connected. Oh, it's not going to be my joystick. You're going to want to play... Oh, there we go. Are you a fan of this game, uh, Panther? It's a quintessential shoot 'em up, isn't it? Uh, it's bloody difficult, but it's it's nice. Uh, who do we start? Oh, a minute. Uh, oh, is it going to be this? Ah, right. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I want. I need a band in it. The bloody mouse isn't. That's the thing I, wish I hate about meme is when you enable the mouse, it just seems to kind of stop. It takes over your mouse, doesn't it? It can do, yeah. I don't think there's any. Any work around that, is there? Controls, right, mouse input, there we go. Bunk, right, let's try again. Obviously, when, but given it's live, you don't get the slick presentation like my usual uh, features <coughs> quite at the back. <laughs> <laughs> the call slick is never a word you'll ever hear associated with my channel, bloody hell. Slick, like a Formula <laughs> One car on oil. Slack, well. slack possibly. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, wait a minute. The thing isn't working. Hang on, and put this game. Uh, right, where's what we're looking for? Buttons. Button the one. King of preparation strikes again. King of preparation. Because only told you about twenty minutes ago we're going to do this, so stop complaining. <laughs> and it's not working. Why is it not working? I don't know. Right, wait a minute. I'm doing this right. And put this game. Player one. Uh, what? What's going on? Player one, button one, right, now we'll try it again. Player one, button, mouse, B-O, whatever that stands for. Button zero. Is that what it is? There we go. See, that you had little faith. How's the, the sound balance? Is it all right? Yeah, I mean, it goes a bit funny with this anyway when I talk because of the oh, way yeah, the, the yeah. mic works. So I'll shut up. So hands up who has actually tried to clear the screen of uh, mushrooms thinking it's going to make it easier. I don't think that's possible, is it? No, because you get that little sod come down and drop more yeah, on. Yeah, the eternal flea. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, well, as soon as you shoot a part of the centipede, it turns into a mushroom, so... Yeah. You know what, it's one of these games, I mean, see the spider? The spider movement is so kind of predictable, but it's bloody impossible to avoid, see, after a couple of levels. It's just the, the, the sheer sort of randomness of it is, just makes it difficult. Yeah. I first played this game, it's funny how you, well I can always remember where I played the first time I saw an arcade game and this one I, I was in a, we were across in America seeing my auntie who lived in uh, California and uh, where were we, I think it was in Reno and we went in for like a, into a sort of a, I don't know what it was, a hamburger joint and I saw this and I didn't know what it was and I was absolutely intrigued with the, the, the trackball. Yeah, I mean, most of my uh, early ar arcade seeings were mostly in uh, Essex, in Clacton, because that's where we used to go a lot when I was a kid. Is it Clacton and Sea, by any chance? Yeah, Clacton on Sea and Jaywick and all around that area. So you guys had all these really nice arcades and sort of seaside resorts. What did we have? Portobello, which is in Edinburgh, or Bun yeah. Island, that, that was about it. It was 80 miles away. It wasn't, I couldn't go out my front door with my BMX. Oh, could you not? All right, so it wasn't, you didn't have anything really on your no. doorstep and such then. Well, oh, when I, I was looking there and I died, right? One when, I, game. when I got a bit older, obviously we had the Trocadero in London and Holloway Road and places like that, but you had to kind of watch your pockets and your back in them sort of places. A mate of mine got stabbed in somewhere like that because he wouldn't give some bloke his money, so. What the hell? Really me. I think it's all the best arcades were like that. They're all CD and dirty. That's, yeah, that's I, what made them. I tended to avoid them sort of places. But yeah, I, I've, I felt all right if I was with my mum and dad by the coastline. <laughs> but with this game, I remember the side art more than I remember the game on it because of how bright and vivid it was. Yeah, yeah, as it? it's quite kind of striking looking, eh? Yeah. Right, anyway, I think that's enough of the arcade one. So. Right, Mr. P, what version have we got first? Oh, I reckon you should go for in television first, if you can do that. Uh, in television, right, wait a minute. Um, I'm going to go all over the place, otherwise it's going to be Atari, 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 if I do that's it. That's totally fine with me. That's fine with me. Christian's saying it's, it's working. Al's gaming skills are just a bit rusty. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, rusty like the Tin Man before Dorothy found him. <laughs> right in television, I don't know how. Wait. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know. If this Amy you look, you're you're looking for centipede, Al. Centipede. <laughs> there we go. Centipede. Right, let's give it a go uh, in television. I don't know if this is going to work. This isn't one I, I play particularly. Oh, there we go. Right, we're not going to try and. Well, are we going to go for full screen mode? Will we try it? Uh, it's up to you. We'll give it a go. No, uh, that's, it. that's this gold. <laughs> You're showing the wrong screen. <laughs> right, it's, it's just completely gone. Right, I don't know. I don't know why that does that. Why, me? Right, I need to come out of that again. I don't know why some emulators behave themselves and other ones don't. Don't shut. Don't shut that one for Christ's sakes. Right, well, man, I want to get. I'm trying you're to the, get. You're on I'm the wrong screen there, aren't you? I'm trying to get Discord to shut down. Why is that not wanting to move? Oh, balls. Wait a minute. That's bizarre. Yeah, you want that on the other screen, really, don't you? But you know what? When I try and move it, it doesn't want to move. Oh, hang on, right. What's going on here? Right, it's moving now, right. There we go. Right, peace is restored at last. Right, you can bug it off. How would I close Discord? Uh, well, I'd use a little cross in the corner. You don't appear to have one. Put it, put it on the other screen. <laughs> I'll, move I'll move it down there, out the road. Right, anyway, right, we're going to have to play a small screen light, so that's going to have to do. Will it let you stretch it from the corner, Al? Uh, that'll be a no. Right, okay. Well, it's got, it's got view fuel screen and that's that. So, right, let's see if this is going to work. Well, if it doesn't work, we're just going to move swiftly on. I don't want to piss about. Whoa, lady. Whoa, have it. That's nice and loud. Uh, it's not. Uh, hang on. <laughs> it doesn't appear to be moving. Uh, keypad. I'm sure I had to do this before. 
keypad. Tell you what, let's just look at it and then we'll move on. Is that a bit loud? Yeah, that is loud, but if they yeah. good round. It's loud here as well, hang on. Oh, right, we'll just turn them down a wee bit. So what's your, what's your opinion of this one? Thoughts? Well, I mean, the uh, the player character don't move about very much, does he? <laughs> Mate, it, it looks the part, doesn't it? It does. I know, the spider has got a... The spider, well, the spider have lost four of its legs. It's also sprouted a face. He looks like a space invader now. He's a spacing spider or something. Well, man, that flea's getting a bit hyperactive. Look at that. <laughs> You know, you know, and I, I'm just waiting for the smart ass comment to say he's actually got a higher score than if he actually played it. <laughs> Harsh but fair. Let's be honest. I was actually thinking the same myself. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I'm even no hands. Guys, I'm gonna get to level three without even touching it. Oh, that's mental. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. I'm just waiting for it to take this bit out. Is it gonna get Hey! <laughs> this is like the best you've ever played a game. <laughs> Ta-da! Hands free. Yeah, it's, I mean it's it's hard to it's hard to really see anything without ah right, I can move using the cursor keys. This is where I die. Yeah, it's by oh, where you were. <laughs> movement is certainly is certainly smooth enough. You've upset Dell, by the way. Why is he a, a, a is, is, how dare you do a live stream while I'm travelling from work? <laughs> well, you can tune in and just listen to the listen to the witty banter. Well, when's that starting? <laughs> <laughs> Who else you got coming on? <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, that's a television. It looks all right. It's a bit blocky. By the way, I'm not touching it again. It looks a bit blocky, but it's it sounds. Listen to that sound. That is absolutely spot on. <laughs> Well, apart from the, the crash bit, but that sound is spot on. I'm impressed with that. And it's actually it's actually quite reassuring to see a, a, an Intellivision game that doesn't use the built-in running man sprite. Have you seen that one? Yeah. They all <laughs> use it. <laughs> right, well, we'll stick in with that sort of console then. Go for the uh, Atari 26, 2600 next. Right, okay. Because I'd imagine the sounds will be pretty good on this as well. Yeah, at least it's a bit bigger. All right, let's see if I can actually play this one. Black and white mode, colour well, you, mode. You should be able to operate it. Oh, all right. Yeah, man, I'm, very, uh, I'm not playing it, by the way, in case anyone starts slagging it again. Hang on. Uh, Stella. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Right. Well, first up, they obviously didn't take very long to design the, the player sprite. No, he is very blocky, isn't he? <laughs> when you see some of the... Some of the I mean, uh, was, this a, was this an early Atari game? I'm assuming it would have been, eh? Well, it said uh, 1982 on the title page, so that's, what, four years after it's come out? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. There's a lot to move about. I mean, at least the spider looks more like a spider on this one. It does. It does. Oh, that's nice. I mean, the essence of the game is there. You've got the random spider. For some reason, the, the, the player seems to just keep shooting it across the, to the left and its own. I don't know why. Uh, right, we'll give it another go. Oops. I mean, it's got the, it's got the, uh, it's got the mushrooms, albeit they're just uh, dashes. The movement, the, the sprite of the, the centipede is pretty good. Oh, it just keeps moving randomly. Like, there we go. You notice the actual. You notice the actual uh, centipede. Although it's red, it seems to kind of have different colours of red. Yeah. It Is that to, just um, the limitations of the hardware? Do you think? Yeah, it must be. That's why it keeps flickering on and off as well. Yeah, maybe. Again, it, it, it plays. It plays absolutely fine. 
I'm sure, they could probably, I'm sure they could probably come up with a better version now, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you were a fan of, uh, if you were a fan of Centipede and you got that under your, in your Christmas sack, I think you'd be quite happy. Yeah, definitely. All right, have a brew. Can you do? Can you do TI ninety nine? We'll give it a go, mate. We'll give it a go. Uh, <clears throat> Texas oh, Instruments. Oh, dearie me! Let's just talk Jimmy Sam on the channel. Why don't you? Bloody hell! Sorry, guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, he was all right then. He hadn't got oh, caught. Right. <laughs> let's, uh, just, let's have a look at that again. Is that really who I thought it was? Oh, that was Bill it? Cosby. Yeah. Jesus. He is a. He is a. Headfire to begin. Hey, that's bad. That was scary. Where did that come from? Dear me. Anyway, sorry about that. Right. Centipede. <laughs> centipede. Oh, hang on. Centipede. Centipede one. Right. All right. This is by Atari Soft. So this will be the one, I would imagine. I know. Way of finding out. Yeah. No, yeah. I get this error now. I don't know if this is... I can do it manually. Right, what I want to do, let me just bear with me. Uh, is it cartridge, I think it is, or is it disc? Open disc. Cannot find a uh, cartridge. Ah, is it user, I think it is. Open cartridge. I'll tell you what, I've been, I've been looking at the comments and um, the old gamer Steve has said this is better than Cyberpunk 2077, that new game that's just come out. According to what I've heard and my, my boy, apparently once again, um, <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're beta testing for the developers because apparently it's a buggy mess. That's just what my boy's told me and he's got a what? shit hot PC. What's a buggy mess? Oh, is it a new, a new game, is it? All right. Yeah. And what, what kind of game is it? Uh, it's an open world uh, cyberpunk Blade Runner esque type RPG. Oh, an open world set in a cyberpunk uh, landscape. We've never seen anything like that before, eh? I think we have. <laughs> I was being facetious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, know, I was playing along. <laughs> <laughs> There's just absolutely no originality. Right. Oh, come on. Well, this, right, one, this one is based on the old pen and paper. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons style role playing game. So story wise, it should have a bit more to it than your usual run about and shoot. But apparently, my boy reckons they should have spent an extra six months developing it. And the uh, <laughs> the people that brought it out have already had death threats because they put it back a month. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. It's absolutely ridiculous. Blame me. Right. Uh, I don't know why but we seem to be struggling for this one. Look under file and see if you can auto attach like you can in. <laughs> Like you can in Vice. What were you saying, sorry? Click on File. And is there a is there a load thing under File or anything? No, we'll see. There's not. There's Cold War and Reset. You've got to go to uh, Disk. I wonder if it'll do that. Disk. Uh, I'll try this. Try this. Uh, 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 uh. Who the hell is it? Emulator. Oh, hey, Steve, EA were good back in them days then. I'm actually friends on Facebook with Trip Hawkins, one of the founders of EA, before they went money bad. So the oh. uh, C64 EA game would be all right, mate. <laughs> You're fans with Trip Hawkins, really, yeah? Yeah, friends with him on Facebook you know, for a while. Did he not design the, the 3DO? Yeah. Yeah, that's the same guy. I blame you. Right, we'll give this one last go and then we'll just have to... Bastards? I don't know what that is. Bastards. Right. Directory. Right, you know what? I don't know what's going on with this. It's, it's, it's a bit hit or miss. Um, right, okay. We're, we're going to have to move on. We can I mean, we can do a, a quick... Tell you what, I'm sure nobody will actually mind... If we, uh, I'm sure nobody will actually mind if I just open up uh, a browser eh, and then we'll just do a quick new, yeah, Google Chrome. There we go. And we'll just do a quick YouTube. I like, I like right. his style. 
Okay, what we're we looking for. We are looking for a centipede. Now, just ignore that, a sexy dwarfs. That was purely for research. Centipede. A T Texas. Texas, right. Rated Texas. Centipede Texas. T I 199. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 was never meant to be, was it? No, video game. Atari. Uh, 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 uh. Right, you know what? We're just going to have to abandon it. I can't find. I can't find that one. Right, yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's move on. So sorry, we can't. Uh, we can't look at the T what the TI nine nine one. Oh, what about the Atari fifty two hundred then? I right, give me one that I can actually find. Right, this should be hopefully. And I think this will be, this will be, this is another one of these, it's not a particularly great emulator. Oh, look at that, by sheer random, I'm actually just one below it. I think this will be, you tend to find that the Atari 5200 and the uh, the other one are absolutely identical, the Atari 800. I ah, see, this is a bit of a crap emulator. For some reason, it opens up two windows and I've not got a clue how to, well, we give it a go, Alt-D. Yeah, go on then, why not? can only go wrong once, can't it? It can only, it can only go wrong. All enter. Right, you know, it's not... Uh, and I can't even... I wonder if I drag that down. No. Oh, you've, you've made the command box bigger. Well done. Yeah, look, there's what? no... There's can, actual... you, can you right-click on it? No, not that bit. In the actual window. No, right-click. No. All right, do Atari 7800 instead. <laughs> this is going yeah, well. i all the bloody obscure ones right now. What are we looking for Atari 7800, right? Have we still got anybody watching? 17 people. Then if you dry, okay, right, this is Atari 7800. This was a, it's quite a nice little console. Well, that's a better screen. Um, but it didn't have that much. It didn't have that many games. Right, we'll not bother pissing about the full screen or what have you unless hang on display will we go for that full screen oh uh, don't don't drag me into it oh balls like i said don't drag me into it <laughs> right i'm going to uh we're going to put it back to a window i think again god don't me what's happened now hang on don't know why it just absolutely plays havoc with uh, why is that done that? Don't know. You put Streamyard on there. I don't know. It's it's just it's completely swapped the screen. The, the screen's over for some bizarre reason. Yeah, I don't know why it's done that. Mine don't do that sort of thing. I don't know. I've no idea. Anyway, right, this appears to have crashed. So what I'm going to do is, all right, is it now? That's weird. Absolutely weird as hell. Right, you can bugger off down there. Right, let's try again. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why it does that. Other stuff doesn't seem to do that. Right, this is Atari 7800. Oh, that's a bit loud, I'm guessing. Hang on. Where we go? Hopefully that's a wee bit better. First impressions, it actually feels nice. The mo even though I'm using a joystick. It sounds nice. nice as well. What's that? Sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, you would expect a decent version. What the hell? You'd expect a decent version of this, considering it was a Atari that released the game. Although it doesn't always work out like that. Yeah, the movement is nice. The movement in the centipede itself is very, very smooth. Uh, that's proper Atari sounds, isn't it? 
Uh, it certainly is. Is that centipede caught in a kind of infinite loop? See the one down the bottom right? It seems to be kind of caught. I'll just release that link. Yeah, apart from, apart from me getting out, yes, it was in an infinite loop of being stuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> That infernal spider starts getting a bit quicker as well. Whoa! 900 points. How, what, what defines the, the score of the spider? Is it just random, is it? Uh, I would assume it's how far up the screen it is, but I don't know. Ah, well, that was, that was only 300. You piss off. Jesus. No, it was a spider. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. We're, well, pushing, uh, we're trying to aim for 100 problems during this stream. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, what do you expect when it's, a, when it's a live? I mean, any YouTube creator, which you'll know about, Chris, uh, you know, if <laughs> doing something live, it's, there's nothing to hide behind, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's very true, mate. <laughs> right, okay, that's our third one. So that was the Atari 7800. Yeah, I'd imagine the 5200 version would be very similar to that anyway. Uh, no, the 5200 will be identical to the Atari 800. Oh, it's funny, because even when you had it running on that tiny screen, it did look like it had proper shaped mushrooms as opposed to um, the squares that are on the 2600. Aye. No, I mean, you, I think the 5200 is a console version of the Atari 800. Eh? We'll, go, we'll jump into Atari 800 just now then, shall we? Go on then. That's the next one on the list. Yeah, well, uh, I won't, right. I won't, I won't going to do it next, but you can do. Go for it. Yeah, just, just to kind of com <laughs> compare it. Whoa, that's a bit loud. Uh, right, Centipede. Oh, it's not... <laughs> Oh, that's that's completely different, isn't it? It does look different. Ah, I've seen that. I mean, yeah, I think the 5200 came out quite a bit later. Um, when did this come out? Sorry, 19... Oh, wait a minute, hang on. There appears to be... Ah, right, you know what? There's actually... I don't know if you can see that on the screen. There's actually three... Yeah, there is, isn't there? There was one... That one there, which I've just looked at, that came out in 19... It's got 19... Uh, so I'm assuming that must have been an early one. And then you've got two here. Centipede, nine... And then you've got that one. Are they both the same? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. Right, listen, we'll, we'll go for the two of them. This is the first one that we looked at. Let's give that a go. Press select for two players, press start to play. Oh, the hell, give me a break, Flea. That sounds lovely. <laughs> it kind of looks a bit like an enhanced version of the Atari 2600 one. It does, doesn't it? Now, the only thing that makes this quite difficult is because the, the background and the border is the same colour, that's as far as I can move down, so you might think, oh, shit, I'll move down, and you, you can't, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hello, Mad Moments Go, and hello, Novabug. Thanks for joining us. Good evening, Christopher. What the hell? Whoa. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say how did you get out of that one and you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get out of that one? Al said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh good skills, said no one ever. Right, okay, that's we'll have a quick look at the other one. Uh, so that was I'm assuming did that actually no it doesn't actually tell you the year, does it? That's a bit strange. Right, let's take a look. I don't know what the difference, 1981, 1981. Ah, this one, uh, oh, that, it says here that that one was a prototype. And then there was oh, that right. one. This one here that you're looking at, that's a prototype. And then this one was a commercial release. All right. So I know the bug's asking if we've done the Amstrad version yet. We're doing the uh, official releases first. 
Is it an official one for the Amstrad and V6? Well, he's, he's, he's put version in quotes, so I'm assuming it's a clone. Ah, right, right. Ah, yeah. we're, we're going to try and get through the official ones first, uh, Chris, and if we've got any time, then we'll probably... Uh, well, well, we'll put Amstrad top of the shop now. We know there is an unofficial one, so... Yeah. Now, what is the difference between that one and the last one? Slightly different sound, is it? No, I think it's pretty much the same, isn't it? It's the graphics of the uh, actual centipede have kind of got moving legs now. Yeah, yeah. Eat dot. What the hell? <laughs> Dale, you crack me up, man. You really do. What's he saying? He's having a pop at my gaming skills, is he? Well, well, Nova Bugs put, ah, oh, yes, no official version, free public domain, and one by Oliver Twins called Killipede. And Dale's put, Alan will have time. Alan's average lifetime. This game is two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't exaggerate. It's only more than 45 seconds, I think, but yeah. <laughs> But I will put out a stream of games that I can actually play. That'd be a short stream. Yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I played that loud, didn't I? You crack me up, honestly. You kill me the lot of you, honestly. Time I've typed, Alan. Alan's gone live in the Discord, it'll be over. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think, Christ, is that 20 to 9 already, right? I think that's enough. That's the, uh, that's Atari 800 version. <clears throat> right, we're sticking with consoles then. Go for ColecoVision next, if you've got that one, mate. Coleco, okay. I think, because there's been a lot of versions, try to remember them, I think probably my favourite, the most authentic one so far is Atari 7800, I think. But, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. Uh, Coleco... <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all, you're all comedians. So you are. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. You meant to respect your elders, I'll tell you. <laughs> right, okay. Atari. Sorry. It's the Coleco vision. vision. Right. Let's go for. Oh, you made your mind up. Come on. I'm trying to press space. Of course, there wasn't a space. Let's go for easy play. Don't blame me. Hang on. I'm not moving, so if I die, it's not because I'm crap. Hang on. Where's the... Uh... Look at the legs on the spider. That's that's quite impressive. Right. I've turned that down a wee bit. Right. It's a bit slower pace, this one, isn't it? Chris, it's a bit... They've it was. Certainly, they've certainly perfected the creepy crawly look, isn't it? Look at the horrible tentacles in the thing. That's a hell. Actually, these little centipedes when they're half shot remind me of uh, the little uh, berserk character. You can see where I'm coming from. Yeah, sort of. What the hell? You're on about the mushrooms, isn't you? Yeah, yeah. Come on, give me a break. Time you shoot one, he comes back again. Oh. There he is. Cool. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, man, you said that he'd take out. Oh, shit. <laughs> that 
now isn't bad skills, I'll ask quite a while there. Yeah, it's got a certain charm about it, this one. Actually, that spider looks like my, my ex-missus after she got up in the morning. What the hell? That sound effect actually sounds like a tune. It's like the, the backbeat of popcorn, isn't it? That's that. You know what it was? That's what it was. That's exactly what it is. Extra life. That's the sound you don't hear often in my, my streams either. <laughs> right, I think we better move on. That's... A nice version, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, they've tried to kind of tart the graphics up a wee bit. Yeah, but anyway. I have I have slowed the game down a bit there, I think. Yeah, no, that's that's nice. I like that. Now there was a version for the IBM PC. I mean, are you have you got that in game base? Yeah, uh, I don't have in game base. I could probably ah, you know what? It's a lot of faffing about to get it to work. All right, do the Commodore sixty four instead then. Yeah. C64. How are we doing for, well, not so much time, how are we doing for uh, versions? Probably uh, got one, two, three, four, five left after, uh, uh, including no. this. Uh, that'll take us up to ten, too. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking for there with the game base? Well, see, it's still set to China Miner after Sunday's stream. I'm looking for Centipede. Oh, hang on, why is it not showing Centipede? Right, Centipede Atari Soft. This will be very similar to the Atari 800 version, I would have thought. Yeah, now this one we can make full screen controlling. D, I think you said it was. There we go. Yeah. Uh, you know, best 8 bit system has the best emulator. It's as simple as that, isn't it? <laughs> is it Hunter Patrol? I keep asking that every time I hear that. Falcon Patrol 2. Falcon Patrol 2. I always get muddled up with using that. Good old I'm, Jack Alien. I can't imagine. I can't imagine why anyone would want to play that game in Invincibility because it's just the same. Infinite Life, it's the same. <laughs> I can understand games that have different levels, but that's the same. Right, press F1. Press F3, press F1 to play. Slightly muffled sound and effect, but... Yeah, I mean, this was an early game for the 64. You sit down. Ah, oh, bollocks. Greed got the better. <laughs> Yeah, nothing wrong with it. There's not a lot to choose between this, the 5200, or the uh, Atari, but really, yeah. Well, they're all much of a muchness, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. To answer Christian saying he's wondering if any modern games have game over screen, it seems to be a thing in the past. No, because. Uh, there's a lot of people get upset when they're told game over, and we can't have people chucking toys out their pram now, can we? Yes. Breaching somebody's uh, enjoyment or something stupid. Yeah. What do they say? It matters not who won or lost, but how you play the game. Bollocks. You play to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice. Right, let's. I'll just try and finish this level, and then we'll uh, we'll move on. I think. You did yeah. as well. Okay, right. That's the uh, that's the C sixty four one. Right. What's next? BBC Micro. BBC R. Oh, that's going to be keys, isn't it? Well, that's yeah. Great, that's a recipe for disaster if ever there was. Uh, right, BBC. The good old beep. Hey, look at that. I just clicked on anything. Centibug. Right. Uh, 
Now you're saying that was an official. Uh, that says it was released by Superior Software. You've got that, which was released by Wilson Soft. Then you've got Sentibug. Well, so I would imagine it's the Superior Software one. I would say. Uh, yeah, we'll give that a go. That's possible. Let's give it a go. I don't think we can make the screen any bigger, unfortunately. It is a bit, a bit in the small side there, eh? but... Nah, anyway, we're just going to have to deal with it. Yes, yeah, so let's go for instructions. Is that instructions? <laughs> Apparently so. What the hell? Right, press. Oh, there you go. The object of the game is to prevent the sound reaching the bottom. No, it's not. It's to prevent. It's not to prevent it from reaching the bottom of the screen. Well, technically it is, but following keys are used. Z moves a later base. Uh, ZX. Ah, right. So you can't move up in this version. Copy. What what key is copy in this on the a PC? Anyone in the chat? What key do you use for copy when you're doing a BBC on the emulator? Because I've not got a BBC emulator and he don't know. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. I wonder if there's a... Does it show uh, settings, keyboard, maps? Well, that's no. probably the one. Is it? Keyboard, maps. Maybe it's not. Oh, wait a minute. To find keys. Yeah, no, there's only one way to find out. Let's just... Jump straight in, like, let's go for that. What about my space bar or fire? Ah! Why didn't it tell you if you used... Hang on, I'll wait to turn the sound down a wee bit. That was a good start, by the way. Hi, Brian. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, there's Brian the snail. I think it's suffice to say this is not an official port. Oh, I was referring to Brian the sea, but yeah, Brian the snail as well. <laughs> it's totally Brian is still. <laughs> you can't move up in this version. <laughs> right. me. Well, it's very much centipede, though, isn't it? I mean, it's the outer spider. There it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's got mushrooms. It's got a centipede, and it's got you shooting stuff. I mean, it's yeah. You've also got to. It doesn't have auto fire. Centipede always has auto fire. It always did. Yeah, so in this game, you basically have to stop them reaching the bottom, or else it's curtains, like that. Yeah, what happens if you click on the square in the title bar, the uh, uh, full screen square? Ah. Yeah. And does that. Does that. All right, nothing. There you go. Right, Stephen, right. Stephen, that answers your question. Like the, e, the E doesn't work in the keyboard in this, so it's meh. There we go. Ugh. Oh, well, top, top spot. That was all right. Right. Apple 2. Apple 2. Now, if, if memory serves me right, I think this is a really loud system. Uh, well, turn, turn it down before you start the game. Uh, that's probably a good shout. Uh, if it's... No, I know, because it you need to load the emulator before it gives you the... Yeah, I meant, be, I meant before you press start when you're actually in the game. Ah, right, right, right. That's the wrong one. That's Apple. That's Apple 2GS. So it'll be this one. <laughs> Uh, say, no, I'm not seeing it. Uh, it says there was an official Apple II yeah, one. Yeah, it's not to say that this has got every single game. I mean, it's got a thousand games. No, don't see that. Oh, well, we'll need to move on. We'll see, see if it's on the Apple GS then. Uh, Apple II GS. This is more kind of Amiga. You can see there's the Rastan. No. Right, okay. No. Moving, no. moving swiftly on then. Uh, what we got next? Uh, in television. We've done that one. Did we do in television? Vic oh, 20 yeah, then, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I didn't put a star by it, so. I was too busy laughing and taking the piss, as I remember when we first started. Pay attention. <laughs> right, what's next? Vic 20. <laughs> Commodore Vic 20. Two minutes to go, Vic 20, right, okay. <laughs> Pay, atten water. Pay attention. I make it six, but anyway, right. Uh, centipede. 
Yeah. All games. Ah, right. We had a filter on. There we go. Right. This looks interesting. I'm looking forward to this one. That's why I've left it to near the end because this should be fairly good. Cartridge. Hey, one off one. Hopefully this will work. Is it going to work? Ooh. Right, now this has got... Uh, this should work with all D, shouldn't it? It should do, because it's Vice, isn't it? There we go. Yeah. It's got scan lanes turned on when anybody starts. Give me a hard time. Hang on. There we go. Now, listen to that. <laughs> Right, press F1 for options, or is it fire button to start? No, F1 for options, uh, F1 to start. F1 to start. Right, and it's not working. Ah, you know what we need to do? Hang on. We need to go and thing with the joystick. Joystick. There we go. Bunk. And then. There we go. That looks more like a sheep. Than a sheep anyway. I'll tell you one thing, I never actually had a big 20, but there's something. It, it just seemed to be one of the, it seemed to be an almost a kind of perfect platform for just doing simple arcade games, eh? Yeah. Have, have always, you got have you got one now? What's that? Eh I do, but I don't think it works. I've not got any any means to load anything into it. You, you know, you, you know, you've got a Vic Twenty built into your the C sixty four. Yeah, don't you? yeah, that's 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 what I actually use for Vic. I, to be fair, I don't really use it very often. But yeah, if I was going to play, I'd just use the C sixty four or the sixty four. Yeah, I mean it's blocky beyond belief, but it's 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 got it's just a fast arcade uh, shooter. It's really nice. You should listen to this. Listen to the sound of it. Yeah, it does sound the part, doesn't it? Oh, fantastic! It was unashamedly blocky, but you know, it's it doesn't take away at all. Well, you clearly uh, like it going in for another go, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> How many more versions have we got? One. Just the one, right. What we'll do is we'll, we'll play one and then what we'll maybe do is we'll pick one unofficial from each system. Something like that. Yeah, well, we'll start with Killipede on the uh, Amstrad, seeing as Novabug recommended it. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Right, anyway, let's come out of this. Yeah, that's a really good version. That's, uh, that's almost up the top for me, that one. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really... It's, it's not as graphically nice, but it's it's a lovely version. We'll do a right. wee summary at the end anyway. So what's the next one, uh, Panther? Game oh, Boy. Sorry, or oh, Game Boy. Right. Game Boy, yeah. Uh, I can't even imagine how a trackball game... Well, I was going to see how it was controlled. Oh, I, would, I don't know myself, mate, but it's on the list I got earlier on. <laughs> right, Centipede. Right, hang on. Unknown or... They're both classes unknown, right? What one will we go for? Will we go for uh, that? Well, you got the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll try them both then, eh? Yeah, go on, eh? Hey, let's see. Video. No, I don't really want to do. I'll do four times. That is, that is four times. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Alt D. Right. You know what? I don't really. Hmm, should we give it a go and put it in full screen? I'm not saying a word. I don't want to be blamed for anything. Nah, you know what? I can't even see. Can't even see the option for full screen, which is a bit weird. Anyway, not to worry. That you can see it. It's bigger than the Game Boy would have been. <laughs> oh, get me. Right, you get down there a wee bit. Well, that definitely looks like an official port. Yeah. See you later, Christian. Cheers, Christian. See you last one. Hey, you got an offer from uh, Gadget, Chris, uh, to fix your uh, Vic 20. Ah, 
It's not his Vic 20 he wants fixed, Chris. He wants his Amiga CD32, but he's too scared to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be even better this year. <laughs> I think I did tell you that my CD32 doesn't load discs, but... Uh, I'll, I'll need to actually look, I'll need to look at this uh, C2ID, is that one of the SD things, is it, yeah? What, well, SD to IEC? Yeah. It's uh, a little doobry, I've got one on the Commodore 64, just takes an SD card, it won't load ga um, games and demos that need the innards of the, vi the, the uh, 1541, it won't load them too well, but just for running games, I've not so really had any problems. What kind of images does it use? D64. Oh, all right. Could you give me a link? Could you send a link to that? Don't mind. The, the future was 8-bit, do it. Would you mind maybe send maybe a link to it if that's all right? Because what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just pick up one from a VIC-20. That'd be perfect. Yeah, you can use it on a Commodore 64 as well. Well, I've got my Ultimate 2 cartridge, which is the dog's bollocks. Eh? Yeah, it's the dog's bollocks. I, I didn't have the money to get one of them at the time, and now I play games on the C64 anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah. What do you think of this? Uh, no, nah, it don't look right with black on white, does it, like that? I mean, it kind of plays all right, to be fair. Um, Sounds a bit wanky, though, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go, Chris is saying the SD to AC loads uh, PRG files as well. Oh, smashing that. If you could let me know where they buy one. Yeah, I will. I'll send you a link to the future as 8-bit. I mean, um, yeah, Chris saying he'll look at your CD32 for you as well. <laughs> oh, cheers, Chris. That would be absolutely fantastic. What I'll do, mate, if that's okay, I'll maybe wait till after Christmas because um, you're going to have other things to do and I don't really want to send it and then it doesn't arrive in the post or something but that would be absolutely awesome Christ, what the hell is that thing anyway yeah it's it's, it's alright it's, it's a Game Boy see what the colour one's like the other one that that one looked look like it might be better there you go that, that's, that's more how it would look <laughs> bloody hell is that the Game Boy Michael on <laughs> Right, we'll not bother looking at that. Right, I think I think what we should do is we should maybe summarise the official versions and then we can take a look for well, 15 minutes. We'll look at a couple of ones. So, I can't, do you want to run through the list again and try and remember? Right, well, we started with the arcade, obviously, and we got Apple yeah. 2. You got Atari 2652 7800. Right, right well, what about the television? I can't, we weren't able to, it looked, we weren't able to play it. It kind of looked all right, to be fair, I think. Yeah. It did. It did look all right. Um, obviously, we couldn't. We weren't able to play it. A bit blocky. Then what was the next one? The Atari. Well, I haven't got them in the order that uh, we did, so I'm just working from the list. Oh, no. yeah. The Atari seventy eight hundred was a nice looking one. It was quite quite smooth, I think. The twenty six hundred uh, sounded nice, but it was very very simple graphics, as you'd very, expect. Very simple. The one I did like, which was quite quirky, was the Coleco Vision. I thought that. They'd kind of enhanced the graphics. Yeah, yeah, not they'd, bad. Yeah, they'd enhance the graphics. What other ones? The C64, the C64 Atari 800 and the, the Atari 5200, they were all pretty much the same. Yeah, they were pretty much. Yeah, all, by, yeah. all made by Atari Soft, weren't they? So. Yeah. But in saying um, that, so was the VIC-20, and the VIC-21 was superb. <laughs> the VIC-21 does not deserve... To, to win an award, but it was it was probably it was probably my favourite the second place one. What was the what was the one that we both really liked? Uh, that was the uh, that was the seventy eight hundred one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, possibly. So, nah, what what do you think? What's your what's your favourite one? You think? Uh. I, I my favourite one out of that lot was the Vic Twenty One. Like you say, it doesn't look like it should win anything. But you went back for a second go on that one and had to force yourself to turn it off. I mean, that says a lot. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you know, to, to, if it's an arcade perfect, well, it wasn't arcade perfect because the graphics were pretty shit. But it, it was certainly playability. It was fantastic. I did like the 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 Coleco Vision one, and I think the Atari Seventy Eight Hundred was was. I think the Atari 7800 one was probably the most authentic looking. Yeah, it was. It, it sounded the, it sounded the part as well. Yeah, so mm, what, what are you thinking? In third place, 
I don't know. In third place, you've probably got a joint between the Commodore 64 to 5200 and the Atari 8 bit family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you've probably got the 7800 at the top. Um, I mean, if you're going for arcade perfect, you'd probably put the Intellivision in second, I would have thought. Intellivision? Uh, ColecoVision, you mean? Uh, ColecoVision, yeah. But if you're going on, on gut instinct, I'd put the Vic 20 second, but that's me. Yeah, I think I think probably the most authentic looking one would be the seventy eight hundred. Um, so if you want it looks wise, seventy eight hundred. If you want sheer playability, with absolutely kick ass sound, then go for the Vic Twenty. I think. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Does that sound anyway? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's that. So listen, we'll we'll have a look at a couple of unofficial versions. So we'll kick off with the uh, the one that uh, Novabug was mentioning. What was that called again? Killerpede. Killer I mean, again, I think we mentioned that it was the, the centipede. It was, it was like Defender. It was like I thought it, the Space Invaders. There weren't that many. I mean, there weren't really any Space Invader games in the C sixty four. Do you think it's because when the C sixty four came out, when a lot of the computers came out, nobody wanted to. When, when the C sixty four came out in well, nineteen eighty two, nineteen eighty three, eighty two, people, yeah. people didn't want to play a four year old game. People They're, wanted. You'd be what surprised at how many Space Invaders games there are on the C64, mate. Really? I, I'm not... I, I, genuinely, I'm not actually that aware of uh, many. Weird. We'll need, we'll, need, well, we'll need to do an arcade perfect my arse for Space Invaders, I think. Uh, right. What am I looking for here? Open Killer Pede. Beginning with K. Right. Killer Pede. Killer Pete, there we go. The Powerhouse, 1987-1986. This is going to be loud, you just know it. Yeah, it's only AY, they've got no punch. <laughs> oh, speech no less. <laughs> it's nice. not that bad, is it? It's pretty good. I like the little score. I like how the score kind of flips. That's nice. Yeah, you know what I like about this version over any of the other ones is it's got the really vibrant colours. So it does look, uh, it does look very kind of arcadey. Definitely not bad for a knockoff version, is it? It's all right. So, Chris, were you saying that? Uh, were you saying that this was released by the oh, balls? This was released by the Oliver Twins. Did you say? That's, that's what he said. Yeah. And they probably programmed it when they're like fifteen years old or something. Eh? <laughs> oh, we have that kind of talent. Eh? Yeah. You know, I'm actually thinking that it's not a centipede you're killing, it's Commodore uh, logos that you're actually shooting. <laughs> and that looks like a little happy dinosaur, that thing that comes in the screen. Look at that, it looks like uh, the thing with a bubble bobble. <laughs> yeah, oh, Baron Von Blubber. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. I like this. This is very, very playable. You can tell it's it came out a bit later. It's obviously came and got enhanced graphics. Chris is saying that it was one of the Oliver Twins' first game. Yeah, well. It looks like you're throwing the uh, little daggers that you get out of uh, Ghosts and Goblins. You notice that? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What the hell is that? That was the oh. butterfly, Alan. That's off. Jesus. What, him or me? <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, that's very, very nice. Game over. Right, I'm going to indulge myself and put on my favourite uh, centipede clone in the C64. Well, I did play one a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I was really impressed with it. Let me see if I can find it. 
And the one I like, and it's got a great sound, and it's, uh, what's it called, Exterminator. Have you heard of it? Uh, I might have done. I've probably got it. Uh, it's Exterminator, and it's by Bubble Bus EX. I should probably just type EX. There we go. Uh, Exterminator, where is it? Exterm. Ex- Oh, it's miles down. You actually forget how many games you've got here. Exterminator, there you go, by Bubble Bus. I played this game so, so much. Oh, you can have full screen on this one as well. Happy day. Oh, W. Nope, nope. There we go. The spider graphics are just awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember you playing this before now. Fantastic game. The, the noise of the eagle as well is lovely. <laughs> For a really, really old game, it's damned impressive. Look at the graphics in that thing. Motherbug was asking which version of Game Base front end is it you're using? Eh, uh, well, Game Base is the front end, Chris. It's, yeah, that's that. That is just it. It's called Game Base. Oh, there you yeah. go. He's using the the front end called Game Base. Yeah, Game Base is a it's a a great thing. I mean, uh, there's other ones out there now, but uh, Game Base is great because. Yeah, he's can... just asking which version of it he was using. Well, that was all. Uh, I think it's. I think it's, well, it's the latest one. I mean, I'm saying latest. I don't think they've really, I think the last one that came out was maybe, I don't know. Well, Ox should know, shouldn't he? Ox, tell him what version he's using. Yeah, Ox, he's everything game base. You've got that little, uh, look at that little red one. He's got a sore leg. Look at him kind of hobbling along. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. <laughs> he's kind of lumping along there. It's a bit like me when I run. Oh, hurry up. Right, anyway, that's Exterminator. I think we'll look at another couple and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Yeah, I love that. Look at that one, that you black one. He's got a sore leg as well. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put him out of his misery. Oh, bollocks. No, you won't. <laughs> He's going to be in, in misery forever now. <laughs> right, what about one in... I've just noticed, was there no one in the Spectrum? Was there not an official Spectrum one, though? No? Nope. Really? There must be a plethora of, uh, let's call it centipede games in it, though, eh? Let's have a wee look. I'd imagine Spade there probably there. is. Well, there you go, there's centipede. God, I don't know if you can see that. Centipede, oh, DKtronics. Centipede, centipede, centipede. Right, well, look, this one looks rather promising. Try it. DK Tronics. I'm sure uh, Paul Wilkinson. He did. He's got this the Spectrum show. I'm sure he did a really good. Uh, can you look at it for the the clones? Oh God, I'm, I'm out already. Six. <laughs> how can you play that when they're all in a straight line? Ah, uh, people with Spectrum <laughs> used to manage, mate. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Right, I'm going to have to go. This is going to be a disaster, right? I mean, <sighs> even if I can just get left and right and fire, right. <laughs> right, left, right, six, seven, and zero. That'll do. Six, seven, and zero, and S to start. Oh, uh, yeah, Nova Bug. I, I personally use Launchbox um, with loads of different emulators and quite a few on RetroArch. But it is. Uh, it takes its time to set up, but it is. It is a really nice front end. Ah, that, I mean that's a modern one, isn't it? Game Base is a really old sort of front end, and yeah. it's. It's an absolute bastard to set up as well. It really is. But if you're if you're lucky, you can basically download a a, a RAR or a zip file, and it's just got all the games built in. And what I like about it is it tends to have almost complete collections. I mean, the C64 there's twenty five thousand games. It's got all the kind of added artwork and that kind of stuff. Why was this not an official bloody pull? This is uh, this looks the part, doesn't it? It does. It'd help if I could actually move up. Try yeah. pressing uh, eight and nine. 
<laughs> I'll give that a go. So Pete doesn't use a uh, cursor keys, eh? Have you tried the cursor keys? No, nah, let's give it another go if we can. Is it ace to start? Aye, right, oddly, up moves up and down. That's up and down. <laughs> it's bizarre. Oh, right, nine. Right, that's... <laughs> Christ. Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, at least you found it in the nick of time. <laughs> Hang on, mate. I need to... Why is it all shooting? I need to keep my finger on the fire button, don't I? That's all for you. That's a spider, isn't it? No, that's not bad. It's not bad. They look like... Well, apparently there's an ZX81 version of this by Jeff Minter. I called in to uh, someone that wants to be introduced as the Joker. All right, tell you what, let's, we'll give that one, we'll make that the very last version, I think. Have I got a, uh, no, I don't, but I think I do have an emulator for the ZX81. Uh, let's have a wee look. Uh, emulator ZX81, uh, ZX81, and is it 81? I think that's the one you need to load. Think. Oh, there we go. Right. How do we load? Is it open tape, possibly? Looks um, like it. Oh, algebra. <coughs> you oh. never get like, you never get an algebra game on a PS4, do you? Wonder why. Don't know why. Makes me laugh when someone says, "Oh, you do algebra at school and you never use it." I use it like every day. I'm at work. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> to work to, well, when I'm measuring out covers, you need to. Sometimes you have you don't get the full dimensions. You have to work it out in your head, and that's algebra. <laughs> right. Does anybody know how you load? Right. Open tape. Uh, new tape. How did you load a game in a, a on a ZX81? I wouldn't have a clue, mate. My first computer was a Spectrum. Yeah. I'm just going to try another game just out of curiosity. Ah, well, that's working. Well, do whatever you did there. Do that for Centipede. Well, I did do that. Open tape. Uh, <clears throat> All right, Chris is saying load whatever it is. Uh, Quote, quote. Open tape and centipede. Although it seems to take any automatically load, right? I'll put it in. Cent right, there's centipedes. I'll try centipede. Have you heard back from Jeff yet? No. Nah. I'm trying to get a hold of him. It'd be easier getting a, an audience with the Pope than talking to Jeff Minter. Right, I don't know how we do loading on this thing. Ah, upload and and load. Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, perhaps try the other version that was on there. Yeah, we'll give that another go. I think it should just load load the thing up. Uh, Load centipedes. Give that a go. How's your German, by the way? <laughs> uh, I know how to ask for a cherry cake, and I know how to ask when the next train to Cologne's leaving, but other than that, not very good. No, that doesn't help. I can. I know how to ask the, the nearest way to the, the, the guest house, but Oh, I know, I know, I'm gross a beer bitter. I know that one, but you need to know that one, didn't you? <laughs> right, I'm, I'm guessing this is a, a Texas Avenger, is it? <laughs> well, what, right. a way, what a way to finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more about saying that it is auto load. Right, I'll tell you what, let's just load up, a, we'll load up a random ZX81 game. What about a game of Space Invaders or something? Well, 
technically that's not random, but go for it. Uh, what about asteroids? Let's try asteroids. Tell you what, let's wait a minute. Let's load up open tape. Let's load up. Is it 3D Monster Maze? Oh, the first ever SPF, uh, yeah, FPS yeah. game. Let's see if it's going to load. Hmm, doesn't like that. Oh, oh, you know what? I think some of these you had to have extra memory, didn't you? I think. Possibly, I don't know, mate. Yeah, I'm sure some of them. <laughs> Ram pack wobble enabled wobble now. <laughs> wobble now. Yeah, that's a different game altogether, mate. That is. <laughs> that reminds you, I've still got that magazine to give you back, mate. Um, Right. Magazine. Uh, magazine. I'm um, mm. all knowledge. I remember us talking about Zap sixty four, but other than that. <laughs> well I've actually just ordered I know you're gonna hate me for that. I've just ordered the uh, uh, the twenty twenty one crash um an annual. Yeah, manual. Why, why, why would I, why would I hate you for that? Yeah, they're, they're, they're bloody well made annuals. I've been trying to get a hold of the twenty twenty one, you can't get it for love nor money. No, these things you need to back them when they're on Kickstarter, yeah. really. Right, have you, you got have you you got the next zap coming? I do. Yeah, I even backed it. Right, tools, right, options, configuration, not ports, display settings, hardware. Ah, there we go. Right. Ah, it says Rampack 16K, so it's already got it built in. Hmm. Ah, Kempston mouse, no, I don't want that. Right, we'll try we'll try one more attempt at loading 3D Monster Maze and then I think we'll need to give that one a go. Oh no one here but us chickens. It's got horrible kind of scarty CRT line things going on here, I don't know what it is. Press something, all right. I hope you've got your rubber pants on if you're playing scary stuff like this. <laughs> Malcolm Evans, did he not? He passed away, I think, a couple of years ago, didn't he? Uh, I don't know, mate. Badly. Yeah, I think he did, unfortunately. <laughs> if you're in any doubt, press stop. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, bollocks, what harm, dear? All right, as soon as you press space, aren't you? You appear to interrupt the program. I don't know why there's that. So in other words, press any key except a uh, space bar. <laughs> oh, you know, I like to whack your keys, didn't you? <laughs> That's really loud in my ear holes. Thanks for that. <laughs> Tell you what, if I make that, I, mean, I wonder if we make that. Does that make it? That's a bit better, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I... Don't have, to look at you. Don't have to look at you anymore. <laughs> I can still see you doing the bottom, but I mean, I'll just I'll just strategically move my my bottle of juice. That's better. <laughs> right for those of a nervous disposition, if you're in any doubt, and press stop. If instructions are needed to proceed, then press list. Otherwise, press. Oh, how do you? What do you mean? Press continue. Oh, C O N T. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I wouldn't know where it is. Anyone. Sharpish in the comments, know where the continue button is on a ZX81 emulator. Um, space, our uh, spaces break. Uh, I think there's someone, one of definitely one of your fan club in the comments, Al, the miner from China. <laughs> Not as much as the, the sexy babe that keeps, po uh, keeps posting porn links on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> is that still happening? It is. When I, when I go to view it, although it comes up in the summary that they've posted it, when you actually go, YouTube must just delete them. Right, we're not getting anywhere here at all. I don't want, like, I don't want to press space. Eh, pressing numbers. That's a shame. I've definitely had this work before. What about if you press escape? Nope. That's a bugger. Control C, uh, Steve says. 
Control C. Nope. I've got a minute, have I? Ah, uh, hang on, right. It's because of. Ah, I've just pressed C. Well, that's Andy. Who'd have thought that, eh? <laughs> I love this. I love how it actually. It, it's trying to explain why the screen's going to go blank, and it's actually just. You're getting transported through the mists of time. <laughs> Another one just come. Do you ever remember the old games that would come up computer thinking, whatever, eh? <laughs> yeah. It still happens today playing um like for Elite, for example, when you uh jump between stars, you get a nice like hyperspace kind of graphic all going around your ship and that. But it's literally just loading and downloading the next star system from the <laughs> server. They still do that today. <laughs> right, does anybody know the keys? I'm assuming it's going to be like, can I? It'd probably be six, seven, eight, and nine, I would have thought, mate. Oh. Right, it's not doing that. Right. Yeah, I'll just move gradually along. The... No, it's not going to be cursor keys. A, S, E, F, G. It's definitely not going to be the joystick because there wasn't a joystick for it, was there? <laughs> so I'm looking at the comments. Dell's put finally a game at a speed Alan can play, and uh, G G gadgets just put not space. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on. We've just ah right Z seven. I think you said that. Right, so eight. Well, leagues is saying two, four, eight, and six. Two, four. Right, two does nothing, four does nothing, eight. I think that's turning round, isn't it? It looks like it. Eight. Six does nothing, seven appears it's to move forwards. Right, so. Uh, the only ones that seem to work are seven and eight. <laughs> it looks like I'm just kind of turning. I don't know if I'm turning right or left. I don't know, but it looks good. I mean, for the time when this came out, it was mind blowing, wasn't it? I mean, look at how that is actually running, and it's running on a ZX81. See, it's obviously not been released into the arena yet because it's just lying in wait. Oh, yeah. It's pant filling when it gets in there and starts following you about. I think we, you know, I think you need to have our faces in this when we shit ourselves. <laughs> I appear to have had no score at the moment. I wonder if zero do anything. Like, zero doesn't do anything. No. Oh, wait a minute. Right. One, two, Three, four, five. Ah, right, five. Right, five and eight. Right, right, so five turns left, I think, and eight turns right. So what do you need? I don't know if you can go backwards in the, this game. Yeah, but you can turn around 180 degrees now, so it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it, right. Yeah, mad moments. This is literally the pinnacle of ZX81 gaming. It's, it's utterly fantastic. Oh, I saw that footsteps approach then. It's still seeing it's lying in wait. Does it know when does it start moving? Footsteps Whoa. approaching. He's going to sleep again. You've scored 10 points. You're doing really well. <laughs> I wasn't taking the piss that time. That was that was genuine. Who did you score points in this game? By not getting caught. By when, when it says footsteps approaching and that, if you run away and get it to lie and wait again, I'm sure that gives you the score. Ah, right, okay. I think. So I know I've kind of gone off topic. This is a centipede arcade pit in my arse. It was. Then we've we've moved on. <laughs> To be fair, this is probably the highlight of the stream. 
So if you've just joined me, then I wouldn't bother watching the rest of the video because this is about the this is about as good as it's going to get. We've got six people sitting in their fingernails at the moment alongside you and I. Ella, I'll give the stream a like just to make you feel better, all right? <laughs> oh. Hey, you, you, oh. See that you, see how your scores see how your scores gone up now. Ah shit! <laughs> <laughs> I made you jump in there. <laughs> oh, <fantastic. laughs> and you know what? For the, the split second, that it wouldn't matter how blocky that thing looks. That looks like a bloody Tyrann T Rex, doesn't it? That's easy for you. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, guys, that's enough hilarity for one. Uh, one night, um, yeah. Thank you, Panther, for joining me. Oh, you're um, welcome, mate. Good, uh, good fun. Um, I'll be back on Sunday night and the uh, usual time, seven o'clock till nine o'clock, and it's going to be what is it? It's a twin stick shooter special. So try and join me if you want. As well, always, can we, can we do shameless plugs before we go? Then we'll take a new fire in, son. Yeah, on Sunday, I shall be releasing my Was the Commodore 64 Any Good at Arcade Ports Part 3, the mid to late 80s. So if you're into that sort of thing, I'm going to be putting that one out. Yeah, good. I've enjoyed your first two. So anyway, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. See you later.